please keep in mind that our videos are often sped up for the sake of time. Hi there. Perhaps the most important thing a person can do to protect their digital lives is to use a password manager. Using a password manager means you can use unique, long, complex passwords for all your websites, and you don't have to remember any of them. You only have to remember one good master password, which grants you access to all your usernames, passwords, addresses, notes, and payment information, which can then be securely filled in automatically as you browse the internet. Used properly, your password manager will become the centerpiece of your browsing experience and digital life, and therefore must itself be secure and reliable. Using a third-party, custodial password manager means that you are entrusting this critical aspect of your life to someone else. You are trusting their benevolence as well as their competence. And on top of that, it can get quite expensive, especially for advanced features. In today's video, we will show you how to use your Start9 Embassy and the Bitwarden service it offers to become your own password manager, such that you gain all the benefits of password management, but totally independent of any trusted third parties. First, we will open up our Embassy and go to the Marketplace tab, select Bitwarden, and install it if you have not already done so. After install, click Configure. A strong admin token has already been securely created by your embassy, but you may change it if you wish. This can also be changed later. Click Save. Click Start to run the service. As with all services, it's a good idea to read the instructions. Next, launch the Bitwarden web interface. If you are connected to your embassy on LAN, Bitwarden will also launch on LAN. If you are connected over Tor, it will launch over Tor. What you are looking at now is your very own Bitwarden website, served right from your embassy. Let's create an account. Please note, you are creating an account with yourself, on your own Bitwarden website, served from your own Bitwarden server, and there are no third parties involved here. So let's enter an email for logging in, a strong password that you will remember, and optionally a password hint. It is important to realize that this is the master password for all your other passwords. Make it very strong, memorize it, write it down, and back it up in a safe place. If you lose it, you will lose access to all your passwords and your entire digital life. For testing purposes, I've created a weak password, but obviously you will not want to do this. Now you can log in to your new password manager. We are greeted with our newly set up Bitwarden Password Vault. At the top, you can visit Tools for Reports, a password generator, and to import data from another program, such as LastPass, OnePass, or KeePass. Settings gives you all your options, including the ability to set up two-factor authorization. Let's get a browser extension set up in order to bring a more convenient and secure browsing experience by enabling autofilling. The Bitwarden browser extension will only work with Tor browser or Firefox browser, since those are the only two browsers capable of using Tor, or in other words, access.onion URLs. Brave browser can also access.onion URLs, but only in special tabs and not an extension, so unfortunately the Bitwarden extension will not work on Brave. If you choose Tor browser, everything will work right out of the box. If you choose Firefox, you will need to configure both your computer and Firefox to enable Tor. We have guides available for multiple platforms and devices. Please see the documentation links in the description below. In this example, we will use Firefox. First, install the browser extension, the link for which is in the video description below. Once installed, click on the extension and click Settings in the top left. Under Self-Hosted Environment, you will see a field for Server URL. Here, we need to paste in our Bitwarden Tor address. Go to your embassy and copy your Bitwarden Tor address, then return to the extension and paste it in. Prefixed by HTTP colon forward slash forward slash. Please note that you must paste in HTTP and not HTTPS 
or it will not work. Sometimes the extension will try to add HTTPS for you. So be sure to double check. Then click Save. Now you can click on the extension again, click Login, and enter your credentials. That's it, the extension is all set up. Now when you visit a login page for any website or service, the Bitwarden extension can be used to save your credentials. And in most cases, we'll offer to do this for you automatically. Password management just got a lot more convenient, and the only trusted party involved is you. Now let's do a mobile setup. Unfortunately, the iOS app does not support Tor, so currently the Bitwarden app cannot be used on Apple mobile devices. Since we are using an Android, we will need the Orbot app installed and running. If you haven't done this, you can see our video on it, the link for which is in the video description below. Let's get started. First, visit your app store and download the Bitwarden app. Once downloaded and installed, let's go into Orbot and add the app to the VPN apps list. You may need to hit the refresh button in the top right in order to get a new app to populate. Next, enter the Bitwarden app. For security purposes, the Bitwarden app does not allow screen recording, so it's difficult to show you this next part but the interface is nearly identical to the extension, so you can check the last part of the video for reference. You'll be greeted with a login screen, and just like in the extension, you can go to the top left gear icon to enter the settings. Again, we'll need our Tor address from the embassy, so you can copy paste it over to your phone or type it in by hand. Don't forget to ensure that the prefix is HTTP and not HTTPS. Hit save and you'll be returned to the login screen. Go ahead and tap log in, enter your credentials, and you can access your Bitwarden app. That's it. You can now access all your credentials and secure notes on the go. You now have all the tools you need to do your own secure password management without any third parties. Remember that with power comes responsibility, so make sure and back up that master password. Thanks for watching and have a great day.